Saturday. My name is Angela Petrilli here with the awesome folks at Fishman for a new episode of the Riff Rundown, folks. Today, I am going to be teaching Melissa by the Almond Brothers, one of my absolute favorite songs to play on the acoustic guitar, and I am thrilled to be teaching it to you today. So I'm going to go ahead and play through the parts. You guys know the drill. I'm going to play it nice and slow, and we'll take it bit by bit. So here we go. So there we go. We're going to be going over that today. With this song, it's going to be four parts. So we're going to be talking about the intro, the chorus. There's a really cool bridge that happens. And then another little bit that happens towards the middle of the song. So we're going to talk about all these parts. So what I want to do here before we get started is, folks, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite love song. Where you're tuning in from and your favorite love song. So here we go. Let's break this down. So let's go ahead and look at the intro first. What's happening here? We have an E major chord. So how do we do that, folks? Okay. Open E string, right? Second finger, second fret of that A string, that's your B. Your third finger, second fret of that D string, that's your E. And then your first finger is on the G sharp, located on the first fret of that G string. Strum everything. The really cool thing about this song is that there's lots of beautiful droning open chords here, even though we are in standard tuning. So keep that in mind. We're hearing all these really beautiful open chords, but we're in standard tuning today. So the next chord we are gonna play after that E chord is gonna be this one here. Here's where I'm gonna have you put your fingers. So you've got your third finger, place that on the fourth fret of that A string, C sharp. Pinky finger goes just underneath it, fourth fret of that D string. Okay, that's your F sharp. First finger, go ahead and put that on the second fret of the G string, and that is A. Strum everything. Here's how that chord sounds. Just like that. Strum every single string, okay? So let's go ahead and do that with our E chord. Now, lucky for us, so we do here, all we're gonna do, this chord shape that we have, slide it up a whole step in terms of us guitar players, two frets up. Here's where you want your fingers. Third finger on that sixth fret of the A string, your pinky finger, sixth fret of that D string, first finger right there on the fourth fret of the G string. There we go, okay? And again, strum everything. So let's go ahead and do those three chords, okay? Let's do this again a few more times. Again, nice and steady here, making sure that you're pressing hard enough on those strings, keeping the thumb in the back of the neck here, okay? Lending for a good foundation for these chords. So here we go. I'm going to do this a few times. Back to this shape. There you go. A few more times here. All right, so that's what's happening there. Now let's go ahead and move on to this second part, okay? 
we're gonna start off with our A chord here. This is the way that I choose to, to play my A chord a lot of the time. I like this because I like to have this first finger free if I need to do other chords, as you will see in a moment. <laughs> okay. So here's how I like to play this A chord. My second finger, second fret of that D string, that's E. Your third finger, go ahead and put that on the second fret of the G string, that's A. And your pinky finger, go ahead and put that on the C sharp, second fret, B string. Play the bottom five string, so A string downwards. We're gonna be doing two strums each for this set of chords. Okay, so you've got your A chord. All right, this next chord that we're gonna do here is a B minor over A. Here's how we do this. Keep your second and third finger where they are. We are going to slide it up a whole step, two frets. Lift the pinky finger. Remember what I said about this first finger being used for other chords? We're gonna do it here right now. So that first finger, go ahead and place that on the D note located on that third fret of the B string. And here's the thing here. Strum the bottom five strings. We're calling this a B minor chord over A because A is replacing the root instead of B. Okay. So here's how that sounds together in context. See the switch? I'm gonna do this a few times, follow along. Again, two strums each for those chords. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring this up. Another whole step, this shape, this B minor over A, bring it up a whole step, C sharp, minor over A. Okay, here's how we do that. And isn't that just beautiful? Oh, great chord. Okay, so your A string is open. Your second finger is gonna be on that sixth fret of the D string. Your third finger, sixth fret of the G string, G's and go. And your first finger, fifth fret, B string. Your E, and then you have that open E octave right underneath it. Droning E, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and now play all of these. Remember, two nice down strokes each. Here we go. So just a few more times. One more time. After this, bring the shape back to that B minor over A. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do here, we're gonna put parts one and parts two together. Here we go, nice and slow, and then we'll add some speed. open strings. Here's our second part. All right, here we go. Do it a little faster now. So what happens next here, we're going to give this series of chords. Those are now gonna get two strums each as well. So it'll sound like this. Okay, let's do that a few times. Back to 
So that's shape, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and do this whole sequence. I'll play it a few times, a little bit slower, and we'll bring it up to speed. Not too bad. Remember, we want to do here, really, really embrace those open strings and all these really, really beautiful open chords here. And again, take your time. Notice with my right hand, with the strumming here, nice and light. I'm not really digging into the strings. Again, as I mentioned in a lot of these lessons, let the pick do the work for you. Okay. Again, nice broad open strums. As you can see here, I'm, I, I'm not much of a, I don't really wiggle with my wrist when I play. I like to do broader strokes. I feel like the sustain of the strings comes through a bit more. Again, that's, that's me personally. Uh, but if, if you guys like shorter strums, by all means do it. I'm just telling you what I like to do. So notice how my strokes here when I strum quite broad, again, allowing the arm to move naturally. Notice how it's not just straight up and down. I'm allowing the arm to move as it likes. The slight bend, right? Like a really, really wide U. Okay. So I encourage you, give it a try. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. It's great, but give it a try. Give it a try. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna do it to speed, then we're gonna get on to Probably my favorite series of chords in this entire song. I just love the, the, the C major seven that's, that's coming up. So we're gonna go and talk about that. But let's go ahead and do this bit first. I'm gonna do it a little faster and we'll get on to part three. So here we go. Remember those open strings. Let's talk about these. These are beautiful, beautiful chords and not too hard to play. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This one here is a C major seven over G. So you have your C major chord or C major seven chord, right? So C, E, G, and then your seven is B, right? So the one, three, five, seven, that's the formula. Those four notes, you put them all together. That's gonna get you a major seven. What happening, what's happening here is that the five, that G, the fifth of the C major chord is going on top. So you're getting that sort of really cool, very drony, yet open, very full chord here. Here's how we do it. Everybody knows your E major chord, right? We all know how to play that chord. Same exact shape, but here's what I want you to do. Keep that in mind, same shape. Second finger, go ahead and put that third fret on the E string. That's your G, okay? Your third finger, go ahead and put that on the C located on the third fret of that A string. First finger goes down on the E, second fret D string. Play every string. Just 
just like that. Isn't that pretty? So that's that chord there. That's our C major seven over G. And in a really cool part of the guitar, like it's really cool, you can get very cool inversions in different spots on the guitar. Remember, a C major seven doesn't just live here or here. Lives there too. So I encourage you guys to explore with your inversions. They're very, very fun. So that's that chord again. Strum everything, embrace the major seven. Such a great chord. I like to do this when I play this song because there's so much drony stuff happening. Right, that last chord, that B chord, I'd like to open up a little bit more. Could you play this as? You could, absolutely. But with this, I want us playing that open. Again, give it a try. Not your thing, cool, but when I play this one live, that's the, that's the chord I like to play. So let me show you how I do it. First finger, go ahead and put that on the second fret of the A string, that's your B. Your third finger, place that on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay, pinky finger, just underneath it. Fourth fret, G string. Allow the B string and E string to be open. So strum the bottom five strings. This big E string is not invited to the party today. Just like that. Okay, so we've got this chord. If you want just a regular B major, feel free to do that. I kind of like the open one. Okay, so now let's go ahead, play this whole thing, and then we'll talk about the gear that's being used today. So here we go. Slow and steady, nice open strumming hand here. Let the pick do the work for you. pretty. Man, do they write some great songs. So that's that progression. That's the whole bit right there. We'll get on to the bridge section and then another cool part that happens towards like the middle second half of the song. Okay. So seeing stuff about guitars and strings and all that good stuff. So what I'm playing here, this is my trusty 0017 E Martin guitar. I've got the Matrix VT Enhanced Pickups by Fishman in here making it sound nice and crisp and good and acoustic-y awesomeness, yes. <laughs> then what I've got here is my Fishman awesome, awesome Aura Spectrum DI, the silver box. You guys hear me talk about the acoustic imager. I really, really like it a lot. Again, it, it is the, it's the pedal that I use at every acoustic show I play. I do not leave my house without it. It's an absolutely, absolutely important, important primary part of my acoustic rig. I use it all the time and I'm using it here today for all of you. I've got it set to the orchestra setting. This is a, a triple O model guitar, so model Martin. So I've got the orchestra setting. I really like setting seven for, for this guitar in particular. It gets really good mid range, but also it, it can it get, it gets a good bass response too, which I really like. So. Then what I've got here, as far as the amp is concerned, I've got the Loudbox Performer by Fishman. Just a great trusty amp. I love it. Allows the guitar to sound as it, as it should. Again, I like to refer to this as like the, 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 the Fishman trifecta of, of my acoustic awesomeness. So the Matrix VT and I've got the R Spectrum DI and then with the Performer and then that's being mic'd by an SM57 out to you guys. So that's how we're getting those tones here today. Just does the job, super trusty. Can't wait to bring all this stuff out on the road again and seeing you guys at a show near you. Um, 
Again, if you guys are really enjoying these lessons, you can go ahead and give us a follow. You can follow me at Angela Petrilli Music on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff. Follow the folks at Fishman. Man, do they have some really, really great stuff coming down the pipeline as far as amazing guitar gear and all that good stuff. It, the YouTube channel is a ton of fun. The social media is there's some really great stuff. So I encourage you guys, if you guys are really enjoying this, please, please go ahead and, and, and subscribe to all of Fishman's social stuff. It's really, really good stuff happening. So back to the tune here. We've covered a good majority of the song right now. And again, this is a beautiful one to play solo acoustic with a full band, just a really, really beautiful song. So let's go ahead and talk about this bridge part. What's cool here, chords are pretty simple for the most part. Pretty, pretty simple chords. When I'm looking at here, I'm seeing just two bar chords, but it's fine, you can do it. So here are the chords here. Here's what it sounds like, bridge. to what we already know. So let's talk about those chords. What's being played here? We've got E major. We've got D major. So let's talk about D real quick for my beginners watching. First two fingers, peace sign, bunny ears. However, it helps you remember, okay? First finger, go ahead and put that on the second fret of the G string. That's your A, that's your fifth, okay? Second finger goes down on the F sharp. That's your third. Second fret of that E string, third finger D, third fret B string. Go ahead and strum from the D string downwards to the bottom four chords, just like that. Now, make sure that those fingers are nice and curled. We wanna get pretty exact here. I know with folks who say, I have bigger hands and it's kinda of hard to play guitar. Bend those fingers nicely. Again, I tell my, my students, like your fingers are like bridges, okay? So keep them nice and curled. It allows you to, to really hit the note and the string at just that good sweet spot. All right, so keep that in mind. You're playing that chord. Again, A, notice how I'm gripping it. This is the grip that I like to use. And if it really helps, if it helps you to remember to really like point out that first finger, if that helps you, go ahead and do that. Um, once you get a little bit better at it, you can keep it a little more concealed towards the fretboard. Okay, again, A, C sharp, and E are the three notes that make up the awesome A chord, right? So that's what's happening there. My second, third, and fourth finger are doing that. So the first finger isn't invited to this party. But here's the thing, why I like to do this, say there's a bar chord right after this, which just so happens in this song, you're ready to go. So see the move there, you're, you're coming from your open chord, and then you have a bar chord. Notice how that switch can be pretty seamless. Now, again, take your time. I'm making this look easy, but I've been playing a long time. So slow, do this slowly. Going from that A to B. Okay, take your time here. I encourage you to grip the A this way so that when you go to that B chord, you've got that first finger already ready to go and ready to be a bar chord. All right, so that's something I would like you guys to do. Again. Something to think about here when you're playing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that again. So E, D, A, and B. All right, here we go. Watch the first finger. Let's do this again. now. One more time. Not D. You're 
We're not, it's, I'm playing D, not B. One more time. We're doing this live, folks. No editing here, all live. D chord to A major. Now to B, first finger. Makes the bar, okay. Next chord here is gonna be C sharp minor. Keeping you guys on your toes. C sharp minor here, okay. Bar, fourth fret of the A, D, G, B, and E string. Again, thumb, keep it in the middle of that neck. It's gonna help this a ton when you are playing this chord, okay? Keeping that first mm -hmm. finger and that thumb, really, really good relationship here. We want them nice and strong, okay? So that's that. All right, what we've got here, go ahead and put your second finger on that fifth fret of the B string, B as in boy, third finger, fourth finger on the D string and G string, respectively. Okay? From there, we go back to A, and then we've got our B major. Now, this next bit here happens at the, I marked it at like the 248, 250 mark of the song. It does this. It goes from that E to this shape here, and then goes straight to that C major 7 over G. Then to our B. Okay. So be mindful of that when you're listening to this tune on Spotify or wherever you, you listen to your music. That mark is where that happens. They cut through this whole bit. And they just do the E to this, to that C major 7 over G. Okay? So we've got a few minutes left here. I'm going to go ahead and play everything we've got so far. Again, if you guys are enjoying this, my name is Angela Petrilli. You can follow me on all my socials, angelapetrillimusic.com, all that good stuff. If you're having a great time, be sure to give a follow to the folks at Fishman and check out what they're doing. They're doing some cool stuff. So here we go. Here's the tune, guys. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of The Riff Rundown. This has been great. Here we go. Nice strokes, right? Embrace the open strings. Let the guitar sing. First finger. Bar chord. Now to that little bit. C major 7 over G. So there we have it. That is Melissa by the Allman Brothers for this edition of the Riff Rundown. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. This, again, is such a fun, fun song to play. I encourage you guys, as I mentioned in all of these lessons, you cannot play anything fast. You can't play slow. So take your time. Be patient with yourself. Be gentle on yourself when you are learning this. You can learn this. You can do this. So take your time. Enjoy the journey and enjoy the process. Again, it is a lot of fun to learn and super, super fun to play this song. So I am wishing you guys so much success. Again, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to follow the folks at Fishman and give me a follow too while you're at it. So happy playing. Have so, so 